Hello and welcome back to another wonderful week of my collection. We've made it down to the second shelf from the ceiling. This will be a little less shaky of a video. We'll start with our Clydesdale Stallions. This is just a really, really nice example. And he has a blue ribbon sticker, a very small one on his shoulder. I love stickers. I love the blue ribbon stickers and the tonight stickers. So I have to keep him for that. Next, I have a dapple gray with gold bobs. Found him in an antique store, I think, um, driving to Kentucky one year. And then we have a bay with gold bobs and eye whites. He has very nice shading. Um, I think he's very well decorated. And next we have my very first Briarfest. Um, went to the 1993 Briarfest and got Graham Lucky Lad. Back then I actually got him signed by Peter Stone and the owner, probably, Briarfest 93. And then finally in the Clydesdale Stallions, I have a glossy, no muscle Clydesdale Stallion. He's missing a few of his bobs. He's got the gold bobs, but he's missing a few. But he's a interesting variation that they did for a little while where his muscling was essentially rubbed off of the mold. So have to keep him as a little bit of a variation. Then we have two glossy dapple gray Belgians. I say I don't collect variations and then I keep telling you about all these variations that I have. This first guy I got years and years ago at an antique mall in my town. He's a little yellowed, but he's in very nice condition. But I keep both of them because this next one I bought at an antique store when I was house sitting for a friend. And he's actually called the dapple black variation. You can see how striking he is with that very dark gray and how the white dappling it just is very nice with the um, contrast. So that's just two variations of the same color. Then five gators. I love five gators. I have too many of them. I don't know. <laughs> they just multiply. Um, just a really nice clean wood grain. Then a, I guess a darker wood grain. I don't know why I have two of these, but um, I guess a lighter and a darker variation of the wood grains. Then the um, Palomino, two glossy Palominos, and I keep these guys because you can see this is kind of the caramel color, and then this is more of the orangey color. So they're very, they're a very distinct variation, much more distinct than the wood grains over here. Then I love these guys. This is actually my favorite model, and I broke his ear because I'm a silly goose, and I was playing with the dogs in the house. But he has gorgeous shading and the semi gloss with the eye whites and he has his little flare end for his ribbon which on the older models tends to get broken off and on the newer models they don't even put it on um but he's my favorite this one i keep because and you can't see him in the video but he is a chalky and he is a base coat chalky with a decorator copenhagen the blue um dapple decorator underneath so he must not have sold. It wasn't a popular color back in the day, the decorators. And so they brought him back to the factory, put a base coat of white on him, and then put the sorrel on top of him, and then he sold. I discovered that one years ago and was very excited. This guy, oh, I bought him a long, long time ago from another hobbyist. This is not the official presentation adios. This is the owner's variation. He has the adios with his time, his best race time, on his plaque. The official briar has a different plaque on his presentation base. But he is very cool. I think I bought him from Nancy Young years and years ago. Um, I think at a jamboree, if I remember correctly. Then I have a chalky adios. Found him in an antique store. You gotta pick them up so that you can see that they're chalkies or a variation. And then finally, a Silver Knight. This is a connoisseur model. Briar made 300 of each of the connoisseurs, or 350, I forget. He is actually um, a, an artist prototype. I don't have any documentation on him, but if I needed to, I could call, because I won him at a live show years and years ago over in California. I was reserve champion overall. And I'm sure we'll come across the horse that won the reserve championship. But anyway, he's very nicely painted. He's one of the artist test samples of that run. 
So I'm kind of at the end and we'll pick up again next week with the Proud Arabian mares. Thank you and see you next week.